point, um, we have arrived. We have tested negative, which is great. And it's supposed to be a cloudy day today, and the sun just uh, keeps coming out. And it, it's hot. <laughs> and it's hot. It's been hot, humid, basically settling in. Uh, this is our family home. We're actually um, in the back end. It's like a courtyard. Um, so we've been uh, slowly settling in, um, kind of getting acclimatized to, you know, becoming a local here for the next uh, basically five months. And uh, we've been swimming a lot, right? Yeah, what actually, else? it's a really good day to go swimming. It should be raining, but it's not. So uh, anyways, an sort of update of some of the things we've been doing. Uh, obviously, we've been... Um, Settling in, getting a little more of the comforts here. We bought a bed, a coffee maker, coffee grinder, just the things that we... Oh, we need. also rescued a kitten, too. Yeah, we also res Laura rescued a kitten with my cousin. She's now our new, new addition to the family here. And uh, and her name is Zena. Zena. Uh, this is a family house. I mean, it's over 100 years old. This uh, uh, Basically, the village here was... Uh, settled, explored, explorers arrived here maybe at the end of well, 1439, something like that. So I was born here, uh, I was nine years old when we went to Canada, and we visited throughout the years, so uh, it feels like home every time I come but back. But overall, our main goal, or one of them, is to showcase Pico Island, but just hopefully in the, the time we're here, uh, we can do that and um, show you some good... Uh, you know, some nice visuals, landscapes, uh, what the Pico Island's all about. and uh, The activities that you can do. Lots of activities, and we'll get more into them uh, in different uh, videos. Uh, but, I mean, for us, we every time we come here, I mean, I've, like I said, I was born here. Laura's started coming here with me about 10 years ago. and Yeah, uh, fell in love with it. Yeah, and I think it's... We work, it's a connection, and I talk to even people from other countries. They, it's the same thing. They, the people that do come back, or the people that just come once, and they're, they kind of uh, the connection is to the peacefulness. It's to the nature. It's just um, it's a very special place. I've traveled a lot, as you know. I'm in the travel business, and I've been to a lot of amazing places. I don't hate any place I've been. Uh, some places stand out more than others, uh, but. Pico Island, the Azores, uh, I think it's, uh, there's not too many places left because it's, they're still keeping it in most areas very controlled, eco, uh, sustainable, and uh, it's very safe, and it checks a lot of the boxes for, m for most travelers, most people, and uh, that's why there's always an increase every year. Obviously, this year is going to be a little different, but uh, I, pre I predict a boom here, um, controlled boom because this is not going to be mass tourism we don't want that uh, it just calls for that uh, they just wants to w calm down a bit relax recharge revive themselves uh, and feel completely completely safe in an amazing environment and this I think it's it's that kind of place and it's affordable it's, I think it's affordable for most people I think Portugal in general is one of the more affordable European countries and we're very fortunate that we're here and uh, we are in the village of Laj. Laj, L-A-J-E-S. Uh, and in the maps or in Google, you'll see Laj do Pico, D-O, and then P-I-C-O. And this is the first settlement. Yes, and, and it's one of the main uh, villages to go whale watching, which is incredible. Yeah, it's amazing. It's one of the top places in the world, I guarantee you. And one of uh, the first people that started whale watching here was Serge. That was a French gentleman uh, he unfortunately passed away last year and uh, very sad end of the 89 I think it's when he started but uh, we'll showcase more of that uh, we'll actually take you I don't know if it depends on the weather today or tomorrow we'll take you to where the, the explorers came on on the island and show you a little bit about the, you know around the village I think it's uh, we want you to kind of be with us and get a little acquainted with this uh, special place um, we always know what time it is. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you are around this village. So right now, if I'm not counting this, but I think, I think it's, it's about noon. noon. It's midday. I think, it's midday. Yeah, midday yeah. here. So it's the, we're actually four hours ahead so of. So the bell tolls. <laughs> the bell tolls. So you know we're swimming. We kind of we forget our watch, or we are like, hmm. There's the. Let's just wait for the church to tell us the time. So it's always been like that. I mean. Right now, when I heard that, it kind of brings me back to early childhood because it's, it's just constant. I think every village has this, so, um, you know, it's really cool. So you were saying? 
who we are. Yes. Um, Why we came here. Yeah, so maybe we will go back a little bit to the beginning. So I left Canada, myself and my family, 1974, went to Canada, uh, lived a year in Toronto. The rest of the time we've been in a really amazing place called Oakville. It's a town about 25 minutes from Toronto on the lake. And we were obviously very fortunate to be living there and then get to come here and enjoy this. I mean, I'm so lucky. I'm, we're, I'm, we're very lucky. And um, grew up in Oakville, went to school there. A lot of my friends are there. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a great place. I just, sometimes I don't even have the words for it. But uh, I'm happy, you know, um, a lot of my family is here. So they've always, it's always been here. A lot of cousins and uncles and aunts. And uh, Laura is now brought into the the Pico Island family, right? Which are called the Pico Lovers Club. That's right. It's the Pico so, Lovers Club. Yeah, we have. I have cousins in the states, wherever they are. I have friends that they they belong to this club, and it's a very special club. And I think actually, Pico has a lot of people that are from Oakville because yeah, uh, yeah. a lot of Portuguese people immigrated to the United States and Canada, and, and Canada but so it's yeah. specifically Oakville. <laughs> yeah, it depends where you come from. The more, most of the immigrants were from the Azores, okay? And there was a big immigration uh, in the 50s, in the 70s. We came in the 70s, which would have been 74. Um, but for example, my uncle was our sponsor. He was already there. I think he came in the 50s. So, and obviously a lot of Italians. Oakville is made up with a lot of Italians, Portuguese, Greeks, uh, Croatia. I mean, the high school I went to, uh, called Purdue High School, um, had 80% Portuguese and Italian when, we, when I was going there, 80%. So we, we, we had the best soccer team, the worst football team. So that just tells you something. But uh, Carlos was a very good soccer player. Yeah, it's 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 a great place. The Oakville, we love it. We love having that as our, you know, half and half. Uh, the best. That's why I say it's the best of both worlds. And um, I've been in the travel business for at least 30 years, 30 plus. Started out uh, big companies like uh, known their wholesale travel group, Last Minute Club, um, Thomas Cook. Now I'm in with the company. I'm, I have my own business. I'm an independent. Uh, Travel business working within a bigger company. In, the, in this case, right now, it's called Marlin Travel. Uh, they're owned by Transat Holidays. Uh, most people in Canada would know them, but uh, that's what I'm, I'm I, the business I have there, and I've had for quite a while. I used to have brick and mortar. Now it's more uh, online. Uh, I don't, you know, with the internet now, I'm actually working from here. You know, I have to take care of my clients just as well from here as I can from there. And uh, we're trying to expand the, my travel business to specialize on Pico Island, the Azores. That's uh, one main reason why we uh, came, it's one of them, uh, be here for at least five months trying to get more familiar, kind of get some good partners here, so showcase the island, uh, educate uh, the Canadian traveler and beyond on what this uh, place has to offer. I was born in Oakville, and my both my parents were entrepreneurs. Uh, and I owned a business for 23 years. It was a ladies wear boutique. And uh, then I decided to start a pet sitting business after that, after 23 years of having the boutique. And now we are here awesome. on Pico to do a tourism business. Going back to, um, let's back up a little bit. We were supposed to be here in May, obviously with COVID, we got, uh, we had to pause there. We actually had sold our home, our condo, and uh, we couldn't fly, so we had to temporarily rent. We got quarantined like everybody else, and we finally got to go ahead to travel again so that we came in July. And uh, so, uh, yeah, that plan is to spend half the time in Canada, half the time here. Um, obviously, in the off season, I will be promoting this destination in Canada, trade shows and social media and so forth. The booking center is in Canada, so we can be able to book uh, packages, you know, flights from Toronto from here. But again, we'll talk more about tourism later, more in depth. Uh, but this is why we're here. I mean, obviously, we um, we want to. We believe that this is a, this is a region where a lot of people are searching for this kind of environment uh, we uh, we believe there's other people like us right yes yeah they want yeah, the nature they this. want the the peacefulness 
uh, the safety. You know, like, um, you know, when you're surrounded by water <laughs> that has marine life, abundance of a marine life, it's a sanctuary for whales, cetaceans, and so we want to share this. We want you uh, to see this and come with us, experience this with us, okay? And uh, uh, at any point that you come over, well, you just send me an email, and I'll be able to customize uh, a package, a package for you. from... Mostly, we we're trying to specialize packages for the Canadian travel because that's where we're based, but uh, we can book people from anywhere. So that's, that is... Uh, the easiest way nowadays with technology so so we are going to have some lunch because I'm constantly hungry <laughs> yeah, you kind of get hungry here one thing I've also noticed is I'm growing my beard has grown a lot more rapid here than anywhere so I think it might be time for a shave yeah and actually I forced here. Carlos to buy a razor <laughs> so yeah that was one, shave. Of, one of the things we bought was a razor so I could keep this more tuned in trimmed trimmed yeah so, like uh, we're gonna have to trim this video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So after lunch, we're gonna go down to the water. Uh, it's situated about five minutes from here, and it's a natural swimming area. You're swimming in the ocean. Uh, we'll take you guys down there to see. Yeah. So we'll uh, see you down there. Okay. okay, we're heading down to the water, like we <laughs> said we were going to. Here we are approaching the uh, one of the main swimming areas of the village. It's an untouched area. Uh, one side you have the open ocean with the reef just out there. It's a little rough today. Yeah, it's pretty rough. And then on the inner side, it's like a lagoon. It's still the ocean, but it's more calmer. Obviously, I think right now the tide is probably out. And that's an amazing place to swim. Uh, as you will see as we get closer, it's very safe. And uh, it's, these are lava pools created years and years ago. And a lot of people like to come here and just uh, spend some time. Dips, it's perfect temperature right now. I think it's about 25 or six. And a little breeze and uh, it's very, very refreshing. And as you've seen already some of the footage. This is, really, this is a really one of my favorite areas. I go up swimming here and learn how to swim. All we can smell right now is the, uh, the ocean, right? Yeah. How you, how you feel? Ready to jump in. Yeah? Are you brave enough? Well, I won't jump. I'm always <laughs> slow to get in. Carlos is very slow to get yeah, in. <laughs> but uh, I get in. That's the main thing. How's the water? Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, this water here is a lot of salt the lava, nutrients, minerals. guys uh, today is August 18 um, it's been pouring all day so we're probably not gonna do a lot today just probably stay inside looks like uh, Kyle has come um, is coming by here more in the western part of the Azores uh, so it's leaving a little bit of rain cloudiness but uh, I think we just got a break in the weather uh, 
and it looks like there's some sun there and yep, but uh, yeah look at this as soon as rain starts still a little cloudy there some mist Yeah, can you put it in the room? Oh, just the weather. This is really good for for most of the island, except I guess the grapes, where they're the vineyard areas. They don't really don't like a lot of rain at this time because it's almost they're almost ready to be picked. Indoors, kind of thinking through the house here. Just give you a little insight into the kitchen. We'll we'll do maybe a, a house tour at another time, but it's very comfortable. It's like a European cottage in the middle of the, this old village. And uh, Laura, hi. How you doing? You're all. You've been editing. Yeah. All right. She's gonna open the window for us. Let's see. Yes. Look. Looks like we got some sunlight. Street. Just a few minutes ago, there was a lot of rain coming through here, but looks like things are opening up. You can still see some low clouds. I love that mist there. And I can smell the ocean from here. It would be amazing if you could uh, just smell this where the sea is just... Everybody's starting to come out. Waves are still happening, but hopefully that's it for, for Kyle. I am on the spot where the explorers came on to Pico Island, where they discovered it. Uh, this was the first spot on the island that they set foot. I just thought it would be fitting e ending this video on the first place that they actually came on to the island. There's also a church that uh, we'll show you. Like and comment. And hit the bell. See you in the next video.